Mr. Rivera hanging out with the Uber goddess. Some, some, some fun snacks for March Madness. What are you ladies making? Good morning, Vicki. All right, so first I got to let you know I'm repping my alma mater, DePaul, in honor of the women's basketball team making the NCAA tournament yesterday for the 16th year in a row. Yeah, incredible. Don't ask about our men's team, though. <laughs> <laughs> but you can bet yeah. I'm going to be cheering yeah. them on all the way from here in Michigan. And I got to have some good food while I'm watching, right? right? So this morning we're making some buffalo chicken stuffed bread. Yeah, it we're turning so this good. into yes. yumminess. Oh, my gosh. How did you come up with this idea? I only made it once. Okay. I just wrote the recipe and I was telling Dean, I said, I think I can make a stuffed bread with chicken and all that. And he's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when I made it, he's like, well, there's something wrong with it. And I'm like, what? And he goes, you didn't make two. <laughs> so it must have been pretty so good. It's going to be good. I was like, yeah. Oh my gosh. And we also got to mention, you got everything here from Super One in the Ghani, right? I did. Yes, yeah. Everything yeah they're using. sponsoring a segment this morning. Yay. So how nice. Awesome. So I'm excited to try this out. Make sure to stay with us, guys. Live in Ish from Ming, Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. That sounds absolutely delicious. Thanks, ladies. We'll catch up with you a little bit later. So watching those big tournament games with family and friends can be a lot of fun. It's even better when you've got great food. And for great food, who better than the Uber goddess, right? Uh, Samantha, what are you ladies That's making right. today? <laughs> Hey Vicky, so we are making buffalo chicken stuffed bread. How amazing does that sound? And like you said, we're gonna watch it <laughs> when we're watching our favorite games with our favorite teams. Mine is obviously DePaul, Lori. Both Hoosiers. Michigan teams. Both of them. Yeah. Can't choose. So what do you do when both of them are playing? <laughs> State usually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, that's a good choice. <laughs> no, no, you're good. All right. So where do we start with this? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your chicken breasts, two chicken breasts, cut them up, and cook them in a quarter cup of Frank's buffalo sauce. Okay. Okay, that gets that, you can see how it, you know, absorbs that yeah. flavor. Um, you're gonna have a whole thing of cream cheese, um, like a third cup of sour cream, a can of cream of chicken soup. Ooh. Okay, an onion, and you know, you can actually literally put whatever you like yeah. in it. If you like green peppers, put green peppers. We, I had you chopping up these little red yes. ones. Okay. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this all in the mixer. Okay. And you mix it up, and we're gonna throw the chicken in there. We got two in the oven. Okay, yes. <laughs> you can make three with this whole recipe, right? Yeah, this, I kind of separated it so I could yeah. show, you know, how to do this. So it takes just a couple seconds, and you're gonna take your bread, and you're just gonna slice it right down the middle like a V. Okay. And then you're just gonna rip it out. And I always save my crumbs. Yeah. Um, I make breadcrumbs out of this bread, and I let it sit and dry out. Mm. And, um, and you got breadcrumbs. Perfect. Yeah, so I love these little breads. It's a little French bread. Yeah. I got it from Super One in Nagani, and I use them for a lot of things. I use them for, like, uh, hammy sammies. Yeah. I'll make subs when we're going to camp or, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah. you're going to take your mixture, and you're going to stuff your bread. Um, we also have some sharp cheddar cheese in here. Um, I put a little bit of jalapeno. Sorry, Dean. <laughs> uh, he, he doesn't really like jalapeno, but I do. Yeah. Okay, and so how long does this go in the oven for? So you're going to put your oven on 350, and you're going to cook it about 35 to 40 minutes. And when okay. it comes out, you're going to go, oh, my God, the bread is, like, a, like hard. Yeah. But when you slice it, oh, my gosh, it, it's so, like, it's gooey soft. inside and it's good, yummy. Yeah. No, if you were gonna make one one spicy mm -hmm. and the other one isn't, like the one I have in the oven, I have rings of jalapenos. Yeah, on the top, so we okay. know that one's spicy. Perfect. So yeah. Okay, and so again, you got all of this for twenty-two dollars. I only. did. Yep, twenty-two dollars, and, and it makes breads. three of these. That's amazing. So if you're going to a party or having a party, this would be just a great. Perfect. Great. Yeah. Yum All right. Snack. So when we come back, we're going to show you guys the final results. Live in yeah. Ming, And you're going to taste it. Yes, I am. I am. I, I have a good feeling about this. <laughs> Live in <laughs> Ming, Samantha Rivera, TV6 yeah. News. Thank you very much. Samantha, trust me, anything that Lori makes, get a good feeling about because it's always good. Well, we learned yesterday, Samantha's picky about Girl <laughs> Scout cookies. So. Right? Yeah. <laughs> If you really want to impress your friends and family with some fun snacks for March Madness, the Uper Goddess may be able to help you out. She's helping Samantha this morning. Samantha's helping her finish up buffalo chicken stuffed bread so Samantha can cheer on her blue demons. So let's 
Find out how it turned out. Hey, Andrew, she did it again. Honestly, so good. One little bite of it, and I was amazed. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I think I want to eat that whole yeah, thing. Yeah, I right? probably am going to eat like the whole thing. It's fine. But yes, so let's kind of recap how we made this buffalo chicken stuffed bread. So first of all, you're going to take two chicken breasts and cook it in your sauce, the buffalo sauce, Frank's okay. buffalo sauce. Then you're going to have an eight ounce thing of cream cheese, a third cup of sour cream, uh, two green onions if you like onion, if you don't, yeah. don't put it in there. Um, a red pepper, green pepper, whatever you like, yes. some jalapenos, um, a cup of sharp cheddar cheese, and a can of cream of chicken soup. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to buzz that all up in your mixer or do it by hand, but make sure your cream cheese is room temperature. Okay. Or that'll be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so you cut the little wedge out of your bread. Now you can see it gets a little Hard. tough. but. Yeah. Well, you tasted it, right? Yeah, the inside. Complete opposite. I mean, so soft. It is so good. Look at right. it. I, I mean, got my uh, little, ooh, yeah. It fell apart. So, this, these little breads, Super One in Nagani has them, and I'm just yes. in love with these breads. Yeah. You can use them for all different kinds of things. You could make a Philly cheese one. Ooh. You could stuff your bread nice. with that and shove it in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this. I got to taste mine again, too. It's going to get messy. Oh, my God. Are so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, this weekend. Yes, you got craft show coming craft up. Show. Mm -hmm. In Ashkenaba. Was that the mofo food? <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to be giving away samples Ooh. of my relish. This okay. is my zucchini, zesty zucchini relish. And I want feedback from people because my dream is to get this into stores. Yes, we're going to so make it happen. So, I'm going through the process right now, getting it tested and everything like that. Okay. So, um, that's very exciting. Yes, of course. So we have a bunch of new jewelry and, um, you know, our cookbook and everything. Yeah. So I, you know, Escanaba really treats us nice. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. It'll be a fun so time. So I'm excited to be going. It's all weekend, Friday through Sunday. Okay. And uh, the weather's supposed to be nice. Yes, yes, it is. Just and you also have another shout out, right? Leo? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I met Leo when I was getting pizza. Okay. So I wanted to say hi. <laughs> oh, so and hi cute. to Joey. Yes. All right. So <laughs> this was super easy to make. So preparation took about like 30 minutes. I would say in a half hour you could have your bread stuffed. Okay. And you know what? I think it cooks better if your mixture is like room temperature. Mm. Okay. Not like cold. Because you, you, you know, you're baking it for 30 minutes. If you bake it longer, the bread will get like cement. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you, you want to wrap it in heavy duty tin foil. Yeah. So. Okay. Awesome. So well, good. yes. <laughs> Happy March Madness, guys. Go Blue Demons. Live in Ishmaming, Samantha Rivera, TV6 News. Go State. Right, go Blue and go State. <laughs> Your top stories of the morning.